Well, we're down, uh, rooting around by the side of the river. It's very beautiful today. Here by the side of a river is this tree, and I am pretty sure, 99% uh, sure, that this is a bay willow. It's got leaves like a bay tree, and, and they actually uh, have a bit of a bay tree smell to them. Uh, other willows are long and thin and pointed, and actually the, uh, the tree branches are longer and straighter, and they tend to bow. Uh, I suspect at this some point this tree was standing up straight but um, got dragged down when the river rose. You can see uh, last week the river was very high and a lot of this tree was under water and bits of caught in its leaves. Bits of branches and twigs and leaves. Uh, from the willow you can get a uh, aspirin and it was used as a, a medicine to help with headaches. Now the Bible speaks about willows or uh, it, sometimes it's translated poplars. Uh, they're a similar family and, and you see their likeness when you see their seeds which are like a cotton. To start off with in say the book of Deuteronomy uh, the willow is a, a tree of celebration. You go out with willow trees and tr willow tree branches and you, you celebrate and you praise God and you worship. Uh, but by the time you get to 100, Psalm 137, it's, uh, it's a, a tree that causes people to mourn. Uh, by now the children of Israel have uh, been in Babylon for quite a long time. They've been in exile and under a powerful ruler. And uh, this song is, is sung by the rivers of Babylon. We sat and wept when we remembered Zion. There on the willow, or poplar, there on the willow trees we hung our harps, for our captors asked us for a song. Our tormentors demanded songs of Zion. They said, sing the songs of Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord? while in a foreign land. Will I forget you, Jerusalem? May my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not consider Jerusalem my highest joy. And so a plant that had been a symbol of great joy and happiness now reminded them that they were far from where they should be. They were far from Jerusalem, far from their homes, and they, they couldn't sing. How could they sing? Their captors tried to force them to sing, and they wouldn't sing, because singing comes from the heart, and their songs, really, like Psalm 137, were sad songs. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening in your life, and, I, and I'm sure, uh, like many others, you're looking around at the things that you used to do, but you don't do now. Or maybe you look back at uh, different days and different times in your life. Maybe you look back at times when churches were full. When, maybe you look back at times when Christianity had a hold and you look around now and it feels to you like a desert. Well, the Jews were right. Sing to God. Uh, call upon his name. You may not be able to sing happy songs yet, but they'll come. Because God is a restoring God. Maybe it's your life. Maybe it's uh, the joy has been taken from your life. Well, God is a restoring God. He brings back joy to those who put their trust in him, who rest upon him. And so let's learn from Psalm 137. They did return to Jer Jerusalem. They did sing for joy. Actually, they welcomed the King of Kings into the city. Do you know him? Do you trust him? Is your joy found in him as well? From me, my little friend, here, patiently waiting, down by the side of the river. God bless you. Have a good day.